on this episode of La Peef, Let's Talk. And like, you know, and in college, you, you have a fundamental understanding that life is not about this dream that's going to come true, but you learn to, um, as you learn about yourself and what your purpose is in life, that you, you compromise, which compromise is trading off, like as, as Q spoke to. So I think it's a mature thinking to think, you know what, I have to compromise in life. I mean, every business on earth, every billionaire, everything that's existed, how countries have formed, it, it all came from compromise. So, you know, when they, when they, when they signed the declaration of independence, it wasn't like, ah, oh, we got to settle for this. It was a series of, of, of trade-offs and beliefs that led to that decision. So yes, I think, um, a lot of women will feel like they're settling, but that's how, you know, someone's very immature and you shouldn't even be dealing with them. Uh, money, which we know women are, uh, women are all also in some way attracted to prestige. Um, and, and power, but those are two separate things, but prestige, let's say, especially if she had a certain type of upbringing when she really didn't have direction or, you know, a stable household or whatever was going on. And this guy, you know, look at pimping. Most pimps are broke. Most pimps don't really have a ton of money. Um, it's just a bunch of, you know, nonsense. If you look at the data, so they're broke dudes and dusties and, <laughs> the ultimate dusties and they're tricking out women um, to make money. And it's not that he's, you know, women look up to him with prestige, you know, because he, he can talk a certain way. He can calm her emotions because women also look for in a man, I think uh, like a rock, like a man that they feel like they can depend on and trust, especially if she's had a lot of hurt and things like that. So we can be attracted to those types of things. So, and that we see in a man and especially an older man who's lived life much longer than us. And it just feels stable. He feels steady. He feels caring most like, like most times. So I would say, um, yeah, it really is correct. I mean, it's just, it's just a fact. Um, I mean, we could say the vice versa, but if we're talking about statistically, the percentage wise, it's for sure. Hold on, Miss Melody, Miss Melanie. You can't be disrespecting the ism now. You can't be disrespecting the pimp in that. No, no, no. I'm not. No, I don't. Up in here, like, like the pimps at the players' ball and things like that. Those are like the high rolling pimps. You know, the ones who got money to spend. But you think about like the nickel and dime kind of meth kind of pimping, like oh, the you, players, Max and Hustlers. I know what you're talking right. About. You know how it is. Okay. You know. Okay, I understand. Yes, okay. Not perpetuate this positive narrative oh about my God, like hey, hey it's it's a it's a moment of levity okay no yeah. chicago these are things that are actually plaguing our communities and but actually okay okay hold on okay can i just say that hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on let melanie go hold on y'all let melanie go where it's at it's not so okay the only thing i was going to say is if we hold if you want to take feminism as it is today that there are some women choosing, not they're not being victimized by a pimp, but they're choosing that lifestyle because of sexual freedom. So therefore, you know, if, I don't, I don't want to take it like all the pimping situations right now. Like if we're, we're going to take a stance where women are choosing what to do with their body. Now, I understand trafficking, all that stuff is bad, but there are women who are choosing a certain lifestyle because of sexual freedom. So, um, and if they feel like that man can be like a bodyguard or help them manage their money or whatever it is that he's doing, AKA a pimp. So that's, that's what I would say about that. Wait a minute. Hold on. I just want to get back to this police and moment that Kay was having. Kay, are you saying pimps are plaguing our community? And because I was having a light moment with Miss Melanie. that I don't think pimping should be a light moment. Maybe you do. I don't. I, I actually do. And yes, well, you're just oh, supposed to make jokes of dark things. Wait, 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 hold on. I want you to answer the Sorry, question, okay? I, mean, I want, to, add, I want you to answer. You get through bumping. And you are oh. too old to be thinking that pimping is cool. Hey, who are you talking to tonight? But I'm talking to you. <laughs> you can't be talking to me, Kay. Definitely. I'm not going to do this with you tonight. I'm, I'm definitely not going to do this. So whatever you own, I, I need you to settle that. Like ASAP. 
Because I'm not going to do this with you tonight, Kay. Oh, okay. It's not, we ain't on that type of time tonight, Kay. <laughs> the fact that like, straight up. So I asked you a question outright. I asked you a question. One at a time, y'all. Hey, I asked you somebody got to sacrifice question. one at a time, y'all. I asked you an outright question, and I'll fall back. Okay? You didn't get the joke. It didn't land with you. Cool. You entitled to that. I'm not, I'm not skewering you for that. Okay, I ain't so doing nothing no different than what I do on any okay. other show when I talk about pimping. <laughs> are pimps plaguing our community? You said pimps are plaguing our community. And right. 2022, One of the things, absolutely. No, no, no. It's a yes or no. Pimps are plaguing our communities in 2022. Yes or no? Yes, there are plenty of pimps. Look it up. There are plenty hey, of pimps. Listen, how about this? Since you already got the data, you send it to me. Because I can see okay. with the observable eye that what okay. you're saying off top. My thing is, Chicago, how can you be a group? This, uh, okay, look, okay. I don't know how Chill, you relax, that okay. I'm not doing this with but you tonight, I'm 34, man. and I know okay. that at this age, and I'm not, I know you're I'm not doing me. this with you tonight. You shouldn't and listen, be out here. All that shaming you language. Out here. Shaming, one at a time, y'all. One, one at a time. They can't hear us. One at a time. You should not be glorifying pimping. I hear you. I hear you, JR, but I ain't going to let her do all this. I'm trying to figure out what's going on today. Yeah, I, hear you. I don't know what's going on. I, I don't know what's going on. You need to figure out. She needs to figure out what's up with her. Hey. You are talking. You need to figure out. Okay, listen, hold on. I got one mama. And her name is not Ka. So I don't know who you think you coming in trying to tell what they need to be. You too okay, old to be doing this, nah, fam. You too old to be sitting up here acting like you talking might. about how pimping is oh. a good thing. Hey, who is you? Now you the moral police? Who said pimping is a good thing? You, you ain't check, you ain't have no problem now, mother show when I make references to pimping. I now have always had a problem, problem with it. You disappear off screen, come back in the middle of the conversation. Now you got an issue. I hey, have a piece. Whatever oh, is going on with you that, tonight, listen. I have whoever, always had listen, a whoever ruffled your feather, and my apologies, your Melanie, corn flakes, was, uh, you need to figure that out. Don't bring that over here. Chicago. Right, y'all. Hey, family, don't family. Don't bring that over family, here. Family. I'm just telling you. Family. Family. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. You're too old. Okay. Cool. Yeah, when you get okay. to doing all that. Hey, family. Not tonight. Not tonight. Family. Family. <laughs> JR. Q, I think we need a prayer. Look at hey, you. JR, real talk. Everybody, our everybody, let's, tonight, everybody bow their heads. Everybody bow their heads. To our father, to the pimps and the pimps. <laughs> no, 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 no. We need a real <laughs> prayer. <clears throat> Hold on. Let me get this prayer yeah, going. Go ahead and pray, bro. I everybody bow their heads. Man. Everybody bow their heads. Heavenly Father, I come to you today. I don't know what in the world is going on on La Pifla's Let's Talk. I ask that you uplift us. Keep us in your strength. Keep us in your prayers. Minimize all the drama tonight, Lord. Yes, yes. We want to feel... I don't even know what I'm talking about right now. No. <laughs> Amen. Amen. There we go. Amen. That lowered, go. That lowered the temperature. Amen. That lowered yeah. the temperature. Yeah, okay. I got it. Did y'all eat today? I just want to know. Did y'all eat today? I don't know, man. What's going on, man? <laughs> the hormones are just... Somebody need a Snickers. Yeah. I don't think I'm talking about I'm um, damn near 40. First of all, I'm not... Okay, okay. stay out of the comments. Stay out of the comments. No, no, no. Because they're talking about a choker, but... Who, who, it doesn't matter. It doesn't oh, matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. No, it does matter. It doesn't matter. No, it, it doesn't. Does. It does. If you guys are just tuning in, welcome to La Peef Let's Talk. I want to stream y'all got that master mute button ready for me. Let me see. <laughs> Bang. Let me see if it works. You've been waiting on that for like... Um, I've been waiting on it for... I've been hitting them up, man. I don't know. I'm about to go to Zoom. Not Zoom. Uh -uh. <laughs> I'm about to go to Zoom. Uh, uh, Let's do it. Uh, Hold on. One second. One. Uh... uh Y'all yeah, missed that one. I think Rilla might have called it. Rilla, you looking like you off of uh, what's that movie Eddie Murphy played in? <laughs> Coming to America. Coming to America? No, he do not. <laughs> that scarf on. <laughs> anyway, man, hit them likes up, man. Make sure you guys uh, subscribe to the channel, man. We appreciate you. We're gonna move on to our next topic, man, because y'all couldn't get that one together. I'm trying to figure out. I don't know. One. I don't know how my topic really got us here. I thought it was like. I thought it was Wait, what was your top? I, I like I got I lost. Was a good topic was too. I was yeah. talking about compromise versus compromise. Settling. Oh, okay. Did you okay. give me okay? Yeah. Okay, that's so do, very good does topic. anybody want to add on to it? Because I, I really didn't want to move on to it, but it was just getting a little bit. 
Um, I would say, you know, I, I think, um, I think it's immature to think that you're settling, you know, any, I think it's a, it's, it speaks of kind of like a youthful expectation that I can get everything I want. You can have it all kind of the Disney wishes, you know, and dreams, you, you know, Prince Charming's not coming. And as you get older and I don't mean old, late in life, but I mean, as you go through teenage and like, you know, and in college, you, you have a fundamental understanding that life is not about, this dream that's going to come true, but you learn to, um, as you learn about yourself and what your purpose is in life that you, you compromise, which compromise is trading off like as, as Q spoke to. So I think it's a mature thinking to think, you know what, I have to compromise in life. I mean, every business on earth, every billionaire, everything that's existed, how countries have formed, it, it all came from compromise. So, it, I, you know, when they when they when they signed the Declaration of Independence, it wasn't like, oh, we got to settle for this. It was a series of 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 trade offs and beliefs that led to that decision. So, yes, I think um, a lot of women will feel like they're settling, but that's how you know someone's very immature, and you shouldn't even be dealing with them.